right. Right. Well, you know what? There was no quit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we got down early. We kept coming back in each period, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we didn't get that last one. I mean, talk about getting Hamilton and, and Hitchin back. Obviously, that was well. It's a huge, huge, huge addition to the lineup. I mean, both guys are offensive. Both guys proved it tonight with not just the goals they scored, but the uh, opportunities they created. Yeah. How, what do you think happened there? Those uh, like those two goals at the end of the second and. and then, well, the one was just, uh, you know, missed puck one underneath the stick, and the other one uh, was was third one, the one that beat pick on the short side. Yeah, yeah, I'd have, I'd have to see it again. But yeah, so the, you're happy with that, but now, you know, two games left is not going to be enough time. How do you, how you look back on the way? How do I what? How do you look back on on the season? No two games left. Well, we still got two games to play. You're right. playing. You know, now you're playing for pride. You're mm -hmm. playing to, you know, for jobs next year, for good impressions. I mean, you know, you, you play until they tell you you can't play anymore. Right, so. right, right. Who who do you think played especially well for you tonight? Well, I thought Hitchens' whole line. I thought Vince, mm -hmm. Sir Hamilton. Uh, you know, they were good. Um, I thought that uh, you know Beegra had a strong game. I thought he, uh, you know, was a young guy, moved the puck, he set up that one goal. Uh, you can see the, the potential in him, which is, is real positive. Okay. And how about, again, the Street and Agazino? They seem to really, really work. Even at Street, it seems like he's having a lot of time scoring, but. Yeah, he, nice you know what? They, they, those, that line's played a ton before mm -hmm. we had, uh, obviously, Freddie and Hish back down here. We really rode those guys hard. I thought they looked a little tired early, but mm -hmm. they give it everything they got. I mean, they got that you know, goal going to the net at the end. Uh, to get us right tied, and uh, you know, can't say enough about what right. they brought. Right. How about Pick? Is he? I mean, a couple of those look like he had really no. No, no I mean they're they're an extremely skilled team. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter who they put in their lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, they they have quite a bit of depth, and uh, you know, they play a Detroit game, a, a puck possession game, and uh, you know, they, they, you got to work extremely hard because they come back hard and they, they don't just give pucks away. Dean, is it fair to say you guys seem to play better against the, the better teams in a way? I mean, when you look at well, Rochester and Yeah, I mean, I mean that, there you go. That's, that tells you right there. You know, even Toronto, when Toronto was underneath us, uh, you know, we, we had some good games against them. We had difficulty. Rochester, we've had difficulty with. Iowa, we've had difficulty with. So... You know, we seem to rise against the, the better teams, the Rockfords, the Grand Rapids, San Antonio, you know, San Antonio. Yeah, the best team in the league. They're top teams, yeah. And you're three and one, with three and one against yeah. them. So, I mean, it shows you do, that, you do have a player. You know, you guys have, have the skill, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, different times throughout the season, you get those stretches where you have an entirely different lineup, and mm -hmm. so does the right, opposition. Right. And, uh, you know, you got to take advantage of it when you can. And when you don't have that, you got to make sure you're firing on all cylinders and guys are, you know, ready for that challenge. All right. All right thanks a lot. Yeah.